Welcome to the Praise Cafe Show. I am your host, Robert Brock, with the one and only legendary Mr. Luther Barnes. Welcome to the show, sir. How you doing, Robert? I'm fine, yes, fine. thank you. Good we are here. Thank you for coming. I appreciate your time. Yes, sir. We are in Kinston, North Carolina for the live recording of Gospel Artist for Benita Burning Simmons. Are you excited? I am. I'm always excited. Uh, based on another artist and they're doing something like this, uh, give much respect and uh, it's quite an honor to be asked to be a part of it. So, uh, hey, I'm excited for her and I pray that it all goes well. Okay. Now, your catalog is amazing. You've been saying it for how long? Well, don't make me sound like so old, I mean, you <laughs> no, know. No, you started when you were young. <laughs> I did. That, that, now, now you're talking right. about it when I was young. But actually, uh, I left teaching school in uh, mm -hmm. 84. Wow. And I've been ever since then. So this is 30, 34, 33, 4 years, something like right, that. Right, right. So, um, but it's been fast, and um, God's been blessing along the way. A lot of music. A lot of music. Okay. Yeah. Now, I, I've got to mention that wonderful dad of yours, Reverend yeah. F.C. Barnes, oh, one yeah. of my all time favorites. Oh, yes. I tried to sing his stuff when I was a kid. <laughs> um, what have you learned? What have you taken from his ministry and him being a gospel artist? Not so much. Uh, basically, just to um, appreciate uh, the words of a song. Uh, the music is great, but you got to say something in the song and uh, keep it where people can reach it. Uh, don't have a soul musically inclined and all that. They can't find the chords and stuff. And I, and I love that, but then I have to slow it down, break it down, so right. the average choir can sing it. Got it. Your, your current hit, God's Grace. Mm -hmm. Now, is that <clears throat> taking on a life of itself? <laughs> it has, really. Uh, uh, unplanned. Uh, I didn't know. I was talking about it myself. And how did I make it all these years? How did I make it this far? I knew it was God's grace because I don't sing on it. You know, all that great, you know, wow, whatever. And uh, so I just give it all to God. He's the one that uh, blessed me to be where I am. Okay. Yeah. Now, if someone watching that doesn't know God and, and speaking about His grace, what would you say to them about God's grace? Ah, uh, wow. Well, God's grace is is uh, so important in our lives, and uh, a lot of people have God's grace that don't even know it. Don't recognize God, but he's there even in your troubled years, in your troubled times. His grace is what keeps you. And uh, so recognize that and give him your all and make it easy on yourself. Right. Uh, and not make it so hard. You have to go through everything. Uh, but if you acknowledge God, he can bless you to be all that you are to be. All right. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back because I've got a couple of questions that I really want to ask you. All right. We'll be back. We are back with legendary gospel artist Luther Barnes yet again at Praise Cafe. I'm so excited. Um, you've been singing for uh, a while, and your songs have really ministered to people throughout the years. Uh, I woke up this morning thinking about He Cares. Oh, you've got two He Cares. You got the red one. Jesus Cares, yeah. Right, Jesus Cares, and then you got He Cares. That's right. Right. That those songs are, are still relevant today. Uh, how how how. I mean, what a blessing. How, how important is that to you to have something that carries on even um, that's timeless, so to speak? Well, sometimes I, I feel that people have moved on and uh, to some other songs. Mm -hmm. you know, and I hit some of my old songs and like everybody starts standing and start clapping like, okay, mm -hmm. you remember that. Right. It's, not, it's not outdated. Got it. you know, songs never get outdated. Mm -hmm. They're always relevant. Uh, they said I wouldn't make it, but I'm still mm -hmm. holding on. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's your time, you know, for your faithfulness. All those songs have been and blessed people, and um, I'm just thankful to God to give me a song that people love and that they can attach it to themselves. Like okay. you wrote that for me. Like okay, if you say so, one. <laughs> <laughs> right. No right. Now speaking of uh, awards, you have fellers and. Yeah, I have a Stellar Award. Uh, I've been um, inducted into the Hall of Fame. Yep, yep congrats. Uh, you know, and all, um, and a lot of Dove nominations, Grammy right. nominations. Yep. All that, so the great accolades I've had okay. in, my, in my lifetime. Very, very great. Got it. Very Speaking great. of that, we um, are doing the Gospel Image Awards 8 August the 24th and 25th in Charlotte, North Carolina. And he has been chosen as the Gospel Legend, one of the Gospel Legends. For this year, so congratulations. Thank you. God is good. Um, is that how does that feel to, to know that people oh, still recognize uh, it? It's, it's really important to me because I've known the other artists that have been nominated in years past, mm -hmm. and to be uh, in that category with all those other great artists 
it's a it's a wonderful thing. Um, we all like to be patted on the back, you know, every now and then for our work, and I'm just the same way. So I like to be appreciated. And uh, so the committee, we are responsible for that. I really think that. Got it. Okay. Now you're pastor at a church now too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, there is a lot that usually people say about church hurt. I won't mm -hmm. call it church hurt, but what would you say to someone that has been hurt by church people in church? What would you say to them? Well, you got to separate that from God. Mm -hmm. People are not God. You know, people will do uh, a lot of crazy things, even though that you put on a pedestal, mm -hmm. uh, they will hurt you too. So, but you have to distinguish that from who God is. Mm -hmm. uh, so don't blame God for what people do. God. You got to trust him and uh, believe in him and he says you have to forgive okay um, hey you, you gotta you gotta you know fight it back and forgive and love him because uh, he'll put it right in your face got it. absolutely <laughs> you know so you gotta do that and uh, and press on and then in, in time mm -hmm. uh, you're healed okay you're healed. uh last important question i'll say what do you think is the church's greatest challenge today uh it's just to um uh, proclaim my message to the masses and, and to keep drawing people uh, with Christ as, as they did. Uh, we find that a lot of people believe in God, mm -hmm. but a lot of people are not going to church. Mm -hmm. you know, they, they, they believe in God, but they're staying home, they're going to the beach, going to the games, whatever. Mm -hmm. We got to get them uh, back in the church to, uh, you know, to be blessed by the Lord in the church. Mm -hmm. We said, let our blessings get in that way. We're blessed now with cars right, and right. big screen TVs and all that. And sometimes God got to send a uh, tragedy right. or something for us to come back to God. God. But it shouldn't have to be that way. Uh, if the church would get on, we're supposed to be able to draw the people in right. uh, to receive Christ. God. And being that you just said that, I asked Benita the question earlier about uh, with social media today mm -hmm. and the song that you're doing with her. Um, and people taking selfies, it's all about me, me, me. <laughs> how relevant do you think your song, No Matter How High I Get, is for today? Uh, it's always been a, a staple for me, mm -hmm. a personal thing for me, because I don't want to get so big. Uh, Luther Barn, the music, hear my music on the radio and all that, and then get above myself. Got it. I got to keep going on more so God can use me and uh, be um, thankful to whatever, the, the good, the bad, the ugly, the mm -hmm. little things, big things, all of that. So no matter how high I get, mm -hmm. I'm going to still be looking up to the Lord. So right. It's very relevant to me. Amen. Yeah. We're going to end it on that because we can't beat that. We're looking up to him. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. Thank See you.